creating virtual models of a flexible endoscope in Unity. Colonoscopy, or lower gas intestinal endoscopy, is a medical procedure whereby a healthcare professional displaces a flexible endoscope along the large intestine to perform examinations or even interventions. Reaching expertise requires that apprentices learn an algorithm choreography of movements to control the endoscope under the tutelage of an expert, with hundreds of training procedures required. As a response to this learning need, new training solutions have been developed, among which the simulators stand out with four categories, in vivo using mainly gas swine, ex vivo using animal organs mounted in physical frames, mechanical, mainly plastic or rubber organ models, and computerized physical devices with embedded sensors to capture and reproduce endoscope movements in a display. Despite the benefits of using coronoscopy simulators being more apparent over the last decade, this category has its own drawbacks. Issues about availability, either because of time, space, or score limitations, the reduced set of training scenarios, and the need for tutelage during training are the main issues of current simulators. Our work in progress, Logibit, is an alternative solution for colonoscopy training. Developed in Unity, it is a virtual training environment where senior and apprentice colonoscopists can create their own training scenarios in a built-in editor and use them for training purposes. A key component of Logibit, and the focus of the presented work, is the modeling of a flexible endoscope. This component has three main sections, an insertion tube, a flexible tubular scope with deflection features in the distal end, a control section, a stick connected to the insertion tube with buttons and knobs to control the distal end, and a connector section, which allows to attach the endoscope to different sources, such as the screen or electrical sources. The flexible endoscope shares features with other objects, like insertion tubes or catheters. Such objects are commonly known as 1D elastic rods, deformable objects with high tensile strength and low bending resistance. To describe the dynamics of these objects, a common approach is to use elasticity theory formulations. From this approach, several dynamic models have been developed, like Kosherat rods or Timochenko beam. An alternative approach is the discretization of the rod as a finite number of unit elements. Nonetheless, both approaches have strengths and limitations, like the degrees of freedom and the dynamic accuracy of the resultant model. Following the line of thought of using a discretization for the rod, we created the visual model of the endoscope using a Bezier spine. As a series of Bezier curves join it end-to-end, a spline shape can be controlled by modifying the anchor and control points. With the spline mesh unity package, a straight spline with equal distance between anchor points was defined, and cylinder meshes were placed in each anchor point to obtain the desired tubular shape. The cylinder meshes are deformed to fit the spline shape thanks to the built-in deformation system of the unity package. This feature was tested as a source for the endoscope dynamics, but it was discarded because of the unnatural movements and the lack of control over bending and torsion degrees of the model. Experiencing the behavior of a real endoscope arose the idea that it behaved like a chain, where the force applied at one point is passed along the joined rings. From this idea sourced a new approach, adding rigid body components to each cylinder and join them with configurable joint components. These joints allow to keep the cylinders together while providing great control over the forces and boundaries for the degrees of freedom of the model, including angular limits, linear motion limits, and spring behavior. Furthermore, a more specific parametrization for the distal end could be achieved, as it has greater angulation range and is controlled by the endoscopist. For the movement of the distal end, user input is translated to forces and torques with a script, and applied to the rigid bodies of the cylinders. As objects with rigid bodies, the cylinder's behavior is driven by the unity wrap of the NVIDIA physics engine, including its gravity, mass, and the impulses resultant of the applied forces and torques. The configurable join ensures that the resultant impulses respect the defined constraint, keeping the cylinders joined and maintaining the tubular shape. Further testing revealed that this approach with unity components is not fully stable. Unity's iterative solver converges the join constraint system to a set of impulses giving the forces and torques applied. However, an increasing complexity with the number of joints can lead to an unsolvable state, where the solver achieves a partial solution with unfulfilled constraints. This led during the test to gaps in the joints or regulations beyond the defined limits. Furthermore, in solvable solutions with constraint violations, the error compensation applied leads to the removement of the joints. This work presented an approach to a flexible endoscope visual and dynamic model in Unity, where despite the system not being fully stable, it allowed it to move and deform the model at will. In future work, an alternative dynamic model with articulation body components will be tested, with a further stone solver for faster and more accurate computing. Furthermore, other physics engines compatible with Unity, such as Sofa or Valid, will be tested. Thanks for your attention.